Hello learners, in this tutorial I am going to explain how to install SQL Server data tools on Windows 10 operating system. Basically in the SQL Server we have four components. Uh, first one is the SQL Server database engine, other ones are uh, SQL Server integration service, SQL Server analysis service and SQL Server reporting services. So with these installations you can install SQL Server integration service, report, uh, analysis service and the reporting services. And also, uh, this is the free product out of, uh, that execute on top of the Visual Studio platform. So no need to install the Visual Studio platform. Simply, uh, when you are installing this one, automatically it will uh, install the required components of the Visual Studio platform. So the next slide, uh, sorry, in the next slide I will ex I have given the download link. So in the in, in the description sections also I will share this link. And also, simply you can download that uh, setup file from the uh, Microsoft site. Then, uh, once you uh, direct, uh, uh, once you uh, browse this uh, URL, it will point to this website. And once you scroll down, you can see there is a uh, menu call. Uh, there is a section called SSDT for Visual Studio 2017 standalone installation. So in these installations, uh, you have a uh, download link, download SSDT uh, for Visual Studio 2017, 15.9.8 uh, version. So simply you have to download that uh, uh, setup file and it's about uh, nearly uh, 900 uh, MB. So simply you have to download that file and uh, so uh, this is the uh, download steps so then you can see once you download download in the download sections you will have the SSDT setup enu.exe file then what you have to do is you have to uh, double click or right click on that uh, exe file and uh, select as uh, execute as administrator okay so uh, so uh, after that you will get that uh, welcome uh, window in that welcome window uh, you have to click on the next button in addition to that there is a license terms and the privacy statements if you want uh, you can read out those things so simply you can click on the next button okay so uh, after that this uh, window is very important uh, in this uh, 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 window uh, window explains the uh, components of the SQL server so as I explained earlier it has listed all the components of the SQL server the first one is the SQL server database other one is the SQL server analysis service reporting services and SQL server integration services so already I have installed that SQL server database engine so uh, it has uh, disabled so if you haven't that SQL Server database then you have to install that uh, uh, that feature so uh, sometimes you may install you may have installed the previous versions like SQL Server 2012 14 or 16 it doesn't matter if you can log into that system uh, SQL Server versions then you can work with that versions with this uh, SQL Server data tool so in this case I am going to install SQL Server analysis service reporting service and the integration service so you have to check other components okay so uh, uh, basically in the SQL Server analysis services uh, we can do some analysis like uh, de cube development and uh, a lot of analysis tasks we can do using the SQL Server analysis tool in addition to that, using SQL Server reporting services, we can do uh, we can develop uh, reports and dashboards using uh, SQL Server reporting services. And also, in the SQL Server integration service, we can do a lot of ETL operations. With that, it has a lot of features, uh, and there is a cloud platform also uh, for that nowadays. As you, uh, Microsoft has introduced, so uh, with the uh, SQL Server integration service, we can do many things okay to install that one you have to click on the install button okay so once you install uh, it will uh, set up the uh, it will give the this uh, message so simply 
uh, you have to restart that uh, so machines to apply the installation if not it will not uh, apply for your operating system so uh, definitely you have to restart if not it will be a problem and also uh, <coughs> once you install uh, you can see uh, go to the search area and you have to type the visual studio 2017 within brackets ssdt so definitely uh, successfully if you have installed that uh, part uh, software then it will list and you have to click on that menu then it will open your sql server data tools window so uh, in the sorry in the next one you can see uh, sql server data tools interface uh, welcome uh, get started interface will appear so it is something like visual studio but it is not the visual studio it has only a uh, SQL Server Data Tools related components. So, hope you have clear with this uh, tutorial uh, how to install that SQL Server Data Tools. If you have any questions, any issues with that, uh, you can put on the comment section and in, in the near future, I will share some tutorials uh, related to SQL Server Integration Service. So, thank you.